Wagwan beautiful people, I am Chef B. If you're new to this channel, welcome Wagwan. Make sure you are subscribed down below. Now for today's video, we will be doing a wig installation and review for omgherhair.com. And this is the wig that they sent me. This is a pre-plucked natural wavy bob wig. Now I got this wig in 12 inches and 150% density. So as I said, the wig is already pre-plucked. The knot's already bleached for you. It is like super easy to install just because you literally don't have to do much to this wig except to glue it down and remove your excess lace so i'm just showing you guys the natural waviness to the wig i'm going to style it a little later on in the video so first things first i want to see how the wig is fitting my um hair lining before i actually tack it down so first thing i do when i am um, installing my wig is i like to make two cuts on the side of the lace just so i could lift it and all of that so um if you want to you could use a lace tint to tint the lace to match your natural complexion i didn't feel like going through the whole process of um spring lace tint but i do have a video on how i create my own lace tint so i went ahead with the very lazy method of using um, some foundation powder on the lace now if you're not um, that great at installing wig or doing the extra stuff you can just use a foundation powder to help the lace to match you as best as possible so what you saw me do earlier was spray the freezing spray onto the lace directly on the lace just to see um, how the lace will melt and also when i do this it lets me see how much of the lace to cut off because when i cut the lace off before installing the wig um i end up cutting too much on one side and then my edges is is exposed so this method it helps me to see how much lace needs to be removed so i will lift the lace a little bit so you will see it look a little bit jaggedy in this process and some parts of it on the side will be lifted because i had to lift it to cut off extra lace so i spray some more freezing spray on there and then tie it down with the molding wrap so that it could melt to give the final look so while the lace is drying to give that final look you can even use a blow dryer if you don't want to sit down and wait for it to dry but i had time so i just used the molding wrap to let it dry naturally so first thing that i'm gonna do to actually style the wig is i used a flat um well not a flat iron but i use a one iron to just make sure that the parting stays flat if you have a hot comb you can use that then i use some um what's that called um the flyaway tamer wax so i use that on the parting and then because this is a natural wavy hair i'm going to use some mousse and water to help the curls um look more uniform and then just have a professional final look so while the hair is still wet i'm going to do my makeup and then i'm going to show you guys the final look Okay guys, so this is how the hair is looking after it has fully dried. It's still giving me that wet look which I really love. So it's not like 100% dry, but even when it was like fully dried, it still had that wavy look which I absolutely love. Like it's not too wet where it looks like a wet dog type of look. It just looks so glossy and just refreshing so yeah as i said the bob is 12 inches you will have all the details that you'll need the direct 
link to this unit will be in the description box down below so i'm going to show you guys how i do like a side part if you want to just switch it up a bit as i said this lace is already pre-plugged for you it's super natural also i didn't exactly show it on camera but i did use a little bit of that foundation powder on the um parting just so that it looks even more natural and yeah girl i'm really feeling this look it's really spring light refreshing even though we're going through a quarantine right now i actually did this video before everything happened y'all see me have my nails on so you know this video was made a minute ago and that is all that i have for you guys today don't forget to subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter at damn that's chef and i'll see you guys in my next video one big up on herself bye guys